that, my friend, is the wild world of video compression, or more specifically, something called macro blocks. Yeah, it's kind of like a hidden world, right? Like we see the results, but most people don't have a clue what's going on behind the scenes. So today we're diving deep, deep, deep into that world. Video Compression 101, what it is, why it matters, and why it sometimes makes our screens look like an 8-bit video game. Exactly. And that's basically what these MPEG codecs do. They store all the information for the keyframes, the full picture, and then for everything else, just the changes, the differences, saves a ton of space. What always blows my mind is just how much data is in video. Like, if you didn't compress it, streaming a movie would be impossible. Seriously, you'd need like a direct fiber optic cable from Netflix headquarters straight to your living room. Pretty much. And that's where these compression codecs, imagine a flip book, right? But instead of drawing every single page, you only draw, say, every 10th one. Those are your keyframes, the important ones. For all the pages in between, you just jot down the changes from the previous keyframe. So instead of redrawing the whole picture every time, you're just saying, okay, move this arm a bit, change the color of that hat. But that still doesn't explain those blocky macro blocks, right? <laughs> like, why do dark scenes seem to suffer the most? It's like our TVs suddenly forget how to display a decent picture. So remember how we said these codecs have to make choices to shrink those files down? Well, they're programmed to prioritize the areas where our eyes are most sensitive to detail, bright colors, fast motion, that sort of thing. Sneaky, sneaky. But here's another thing. Why does it seem like those macro blocks look even worse on my fancy new high definition TV? You'd think a better TV would mean a better picture. Exactly, and unfortunately, darker areas, not so much. They get a little less love from the compression algorithm. So basically, my awesome TV isn't the problem. It's just revealing the flaws that were already there. What's next? There are new codecs being developed that are even smarter about compression. Like AV1 is a big one. Imagine a codec that can encode the clean, perfect image, and then on top of that, add a separate layer just for film grain. That's true. I feel like I've unlocked a secret level of movie knowledge. Next time I see those blocks, I can impress my friends with my video compression wisdom.